Hi everyone, welcome to Notescraft. Today we embark on a journey through the pages of Wide Sargasso Sea, a novel by Jean Rhys. Published in the mid-20th century in 1966, this book has captivated readers for decades with its riveting narrative and complex characters. The author, Jean Rhys, was an accomplished writer, known for her ability to weave intricate tales that captivate the reader's imagination. She was born in Dominica to a Creole mother and a Welsh father, a background that significantly informed her writing. Wide Sargasso Sea is a unique piece in the literary world as it serves as a prequel to Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. It gives voice to the character of Bertha, often dismissed as the mad woman in the attic in Bronte's classic. Through Reese's narrative, Bertha comes alive, offering readers a fresh perspective on a character previously left in the shadows. Let's delve into the plot of this captivating novel. Embark with us now as we navigate the plot of Wide Sargasso Sea, a tale set in the lush, tropical backdrop of 19th century Jamaica. Our story is divided into three parts, each narrated from a different perspective. In the first part, we meet Antoinette Causeway, a Creole heiress living in Jamaica. Her story of isolation, the racial tension surrounding her, and her resulting madness begins here. She grows up in a society that despises her for her mixed heritage, and her own mother rejects her after a traumatic fire destroys their home. Next, we transition to the second part of the novel, which is narrated by Antoinette's husband, an Englishman named Mr. Rochester. He marries her for her wealth but is repulsed by the foreignness of both Antoinette and the Caribbean. His cruel treatment of Antoinette exacerbates her already fragile mental state, leading her deeper into madness. In the final part, Antoinette is now in England, locked away in the attic of Thornfield Hall. We see her deteriorating mind, her dreams of revenge, and her final act of setting the mansion on fire. Now let's talk about the key characters. Antoinette Causeway, our protagonist, is a symbol of the marginalized, her identity torn between her Creole heritage and the English society she is thrust into. Mr. Rochester, on the other hand, represents the colonial mindset, viewing Antoinette and her culture as exotic and inferior. Christophine, Antoinette's nurse and the embodiment of Caribbean spirit, is the only one who supports and understands Antoinette. The novel is rich with themes such as colonialism, racial inequality, and madness. It explores the damaging effects of colonialism and racial prejudice, showing how they can lead to the disintegration of identity and sanity. Madness, another prominent theme, is portrayed through Antoinette's tragic descent into insanity, a result of her societal rejection and marital abuse. With this understanding of the plot and themes, we can now delve deeper into the significance of this novel. Now, let's explore Wide Sargasso Sea's cultural, historical, and literary significance. The novel takes us on a journey through the colonial Caribbean society, painting a vivid picture of the post-emancipation era. It delves into the cultural and racial tensions of the time, offering a unique perspective on the struggles of the Creole population. The narrative, set in Jamaica and Dominica, captures the essence of life in the West Indies, marked by racial prejudice, economic disparity, and social unrest. On the other side of the ocean, we're transported to Victorian England, a society characterized by its rigid class structure and stringent moral codes. Reese critiques this society through the character of Rochester, who is unable to reconcile his English views with the vibrant Caribbean culture. Wide Sargasso Sea stands as a prominent post-colonial novel, challenging the Eurocentric narratives that dominated literature of the time. It gives voice to the colonized, in this case Antoinette, who was previously silenced in Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. This rewriting of history from the perspective of the oppressed is a powerful tool in post-colonial literature. The novel also resonates with strong feminist undertones. Reese presents Antoinette as a complex character, struggling against the constraints of a patriarchal society. She's not just a madwoman in the attic, but a woman driven to madness by the men who control her life. In depicting her struggle, Reese challenges the traditional portrayal of women in literature, adding depth and complexity to the female narrative. Wide Sargasso Sea has had a profound impact on the literary world, introducing the concept of writing back to the canon. This is the process of responding to or reinterpreting a classic work from a different cultural perspective. Reese's novel is a brilliant example of this, as it reimagines the story of Bertha Mason, the marginal character from Bronte's Jane Eyre. This novel indeed has left an indelible mark on literature. Now, let's see how it connects to Reese's life. Jean Reese's life experiences significantly influenced Wide Sargasso Sea. Let's explore these connections. Born in Dominica to a Welsh doctor and a Creole mother, 
Reese was raised in an environment deeply embedded with cultural complexities. This Creole heritage, a fusion of European, African, and Caribbean influences, is reflected in the novel's rich tapestry of characters and settings. The character of Antoinette Causeway, the novel's protagonist, mirrors Reese's own experiences. Like Antoinette, Reese was a Creole, an outsider in her own homeland, never fully accepted by the European society or the native Caribbean populace. This sense of cultural displacement and alienation is a recurring theme in Wide Sargasso Sea, heavily drawn from Reese's personal experiences. Reese's upbringing in Dominica, amidst the lush tropical beauty and stark social inequalities, is vividly depicted in the novel's setting. The contrast between the idyllic natural landscape and the human tensions brewing beneath is a testament to Reese's nuanced understanding of her homeland. Moving to England at 16, Reese grappled with the cold indifference of a society that viewed her as an outsider. This sense of alienation and the struggle to belong, much like Antoinette's experiences in the novel, is a direct reflection of Reese's own life. The novel's exploration of patriarchal authority and female subjugation also bears the imprint of Reese's personal experiences. Reese's relationships with men were often fraught with power dynamics and exploitation, themes that are deeply embedded in Antoinette's marriage to Rochester. Moreover, the novel's exploration of racial and cultural identity, the tension between belonging and otherness, mirrors Reese's own struggles with her Creole identity in a predominantly white society. In essence, Reese's life experiences are not just a backdrop, but a driving force behind the characters' setting and themes in Wide Sargasso Sea. These connections between Reese's life and her novel add depth to our understanding of Wide Sargasso Sea. We've journeyed through the Wide Sargasso Sea, explored its depths, and surfaced with a greater appreciation for Jean Reese's masterpiece. We've navigated the complex plot, met the intricate characters, and delved into the major themes that make this novel a classic. This literary voyage has taken us through the cultural, historical, and literary significance of the work, illuminating its profound impact on literature. We've also journeyed into Reese's life, drawing connections between her experiences and the narrative she crafted. Wide Sargasso Sea continues to resonate with readers, its themes of identity, displacement, and otherness as relevant today as they were when it was first published. This enduring relevance, coupled with its literary merit, cements its position as a cornerstone of 20th century literature. And so, our journey concludes. But the exploration doesn't have to end here. Thank you for watching. Please like and share our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed our content, let us know what you'd like to see next in the comments down below.